If you are one of the millions of people worldwide who Ronaldo's tenacity and zeal have inspired, you will want to know how he rose from a homeless youngster to a celebrity billionaire. Ronaldo erupted in Manchester United's backyard after signing for around 12.24 million pounds. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Cristiano Ronaldo, the story behind the legend. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. As an 18-year-old, he made an unstoppable journey from Sporting Lisbon to the heavyweight Manchester United and finally to his dream team, Real Madrid. Returning to Manchester, via Turin has given birth to one of the greatest footballers ever, a journey of almost two decades with over 300 medals and prizes dating back to his boyhood. Five Ballon d'Or and more than 800 senior career goals, to mention but a few on his inexhaustible list of achievements, would go down as one of the great eras of football. Ronaldo has deservedly become one of the most followed athletes of all time and the first footballer in history to have a net worth of $1 billion. Returning to his early days at Funchal Madeira, hardly one saw that coming. Like every other youngster in Madeira streets, Ronaldo grew up hoping for a brighter tomorrow. Many of the boys' futures were in their hands, but Ronaldo's future was in both of his feet. Ronaldo was born in Santo Antonio, a mountainous district of Funchal, Madeira. He was the youngest of four children, two boys and two girls, born into a low-income family. Jose Dennis Severo, his father, was a gardener, and his mother, Dolores Dos Santos Severo, was a chef. As a result, they both had to endure backbreaking work before they could provide for their family's basic needs. Jose's influence on Ronaldo is a two-sided story, even though he died at 51 and did not live to see the glory days of what he started. He was the one who got young Ronaldo interested in football. He used to take Ronaldo to games when he worked as a part-time kit man for the local team Andorinha. And around this time, the boy developed an interest in the circular, leather game. Ronaldo's father died of a liver disease related to his father's alcoholism. An encounter that made Ronaldo more focused on his work, and he decided that he would never drink alcohol again. Ronaldo, a poor man with an alcohol addiction, did not have one of those pleasant childhood memories. To put it mildly, there would have been no Ronaldo because Maria would have aborted the five-time Ballon d'Or winner's fetus. She explained that because of Jose's extreme poverty and alcoholic lifestyle, she already had enough children, and Ronaldo wasn't necessary, thanks to her doctor, who stopped the procedure and saved the world of football's future. Ronaldo was thus born into a low-income Christian family. He and his four brothers shared a room that was barely big enough for one person, and he had one of the most low and humiliating beginnings. Several years later, Ronaldo returned to his first house with his son, who had been born into an altogether new environment. The child was taken aback. I went into the room where I had stayed with Pikeso and Cristiano. My son approached me and asked, Papa, did you live here? He couldn't believe what he was hearing. You know how horrible it was. Worse, Ronaldo endured more difficulties two years after joining Andorinha. He joined Nacional before signing to the Sporting Lisbon Youth Academy for 1500 He decided to face his fate at this point, believing he could do well as a semi-professional footballer. Ronaldo, then 14, agreed with his mother to drop out of school and focus solely on football. However, this was accelerated after the youngster was ejected from school for hurling a chair at his instructor. He claimed to have been disrespected. Ronaldo's career was met with immediate opposition. He was diagnosed with tachycardia, a heart disease that may have ruined his football career, just a year after deciding to play. The youngster has always been a fighter because, yet again, he fought through surgery and returned to the field, and he has never looked back since. Things started to become better and better year after year. Then, in 2005, another surprise occurred. Ronaldo's father died as a result of alcoholism. Remembering how significant his father was in launching his career, Ronaldo converted his father's death into a morale boost and chose to focus more on his job and avoid alcohol. They say that bad times don't last. Ronaldo became the first footballer to achieve the billion dollar mark in 2020. According to Forbes, 
the then Juventus player made 105 million before taxes, bringing his total earnings to over a billion dollars. This made Ronaldo and golf legend Tiger Woods one of the few athletes worth a billion dollars and boxer Floyd Mayweather. The captain of the Portuguese national team is undoubtedly the most well-known face in football. Ronaldo became the first human to reach 500 million followers on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter in February 2021. He had 690 million followers in May and is on his way to surpassing 1 billion. Over the last year, between May 2021 and May 2022, Ronaldo earned $115 million, placing him third on the list of the world's highest paid athletes. He made a weekly wage of $630,000 at Manchester United for the 2021 season, far more than any other player in the league. A social media analytics firm reported that Ronaldo's Instagram post might be valued at as much as $1.6 million. Remember that Ronaldo is one of the only athletes with a $1 billion lifetime contract with Nike and running packs with leading companies such as But Not Limited, Clear Shampoo, Herbalife, and Tagore. And what do you do with that kind of money? Did you say investment? That is just what Ronaldo is doing and diversifying his funds into various off-pitch ventures. If granted the historic number 7 shirt, Ronaldo appears willing to sign a long-term contract. Because the well-known CR7 is more than just a brand, Cristiano has reinterpreted it in his fashion business. Ronaldo's fashion label CR7 is valued at approximately $63 million. Even explorations include perfumes, shoes, denim, undergarments, and cleats. Since this is not an advertisement for the CR7 brand, we will tell you about his hotel chain, which includes the Pistana Hotel Group, which has locations in Europe, America, and Africa. And, as a boy who never forgot his roots, his hometown, Funchal, now has a four-star hotel. The hotel has unique vistas and standard spas and is also connected to Ronaldo's personal museum. Ronaldo is one of the most well-rounded footballers. He is a well-rounded man, husband, and father who spends quality time developing a strong family with a particular interest in reinventing himself and his son, Cristiano. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.